welcome to dcl talk show uh, you are all listening this one on dcl uh, radio um it's going to be an interesting weekend um with uh, uh i i must say one of the games is going to uh, be uh, the showcase of the game uh, showcase of the weekend the game of the weekend and because then everybody has more interest in this game stars versus um, raptors whereas the other one uh based on um based on the inputs that i get everybody is thinking it's going to be a one sided game and um, uh before we get into those game details and uh, the predictions uh let me introduce our guest here and um, our analyst uh welcome to the show imti yeah thanks again uh, a warm welcome to all our listeners uh, to yet another episode on the dcl talk show uh again uh, like we were saying uh, last weekend uh, uh, we are here talking uh, this weekend that uh, we will definitely have a new champion this year for the dcl uh that, that being said uh, it was an interesting weekend with la- uh, with uh, four quarter finals uh, some of them uh, big heartbreaks for some of the teams and some good victories for some teams and then the matchups next week are exciting so we'll talk more in detail uh, welcome to my fellow analyst thanks jigan uh welcome to the show uh uh dinesh oh uh, thank you jagan bro uh, hello listeners uh, uh interesting weekend it was congrats to all the victorious teams and looking forward to a wonderful show with the fellow analysts uh, pumped up to uh, analyze the games welcome to the show shravan uh, thank you jagan and thank you uh, the team uh, thank you for having me today very good weekend it was last week Let's okay. deep dive into the games and go forward. Welcome to the show. Our special guest of the night is Satish Gawa. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jagan, sir. And welcome to all the listeners. And thank- hello, everyone. Yeah, it, last weekend was an exciting weekend. And DCL 26th year will have a, finally a new champion. That is for sure. So looking yeah, forward so- to the final and final. so it is i mean probably that is that's good news good news to enter dcl is a new champion we are going to see a new champion this year okay who is that going to be we have to wait one more one more week for that even before uh, we talk about who is going to win there who is going to make it to finals all that stuff um let's quickly uh, you know uh, uh, get go back a week back and uh, look at the games you know um there are four interesting games last week and um uh one of the games um i can say uh everybody anticipated uh, for this game that is stars versus versus gladiators okay um uh when i took some statistics from uh, calling people and i when asked them to predict almost you know it's a 50-50 but um uh i think i i think stars have taken it uh, um uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> take taken that match um i was going through the scorecard all that stuff and what what is uh, see, you know, when we discussed it about that one uh, we thought stars are um, you know stars are little weak on the batting side and um i i had my own doubts you know if if uh, ravi teja fails what is going to happen and and uh, uh yeah the, so stars proved that there is there are several other guys who can pick up from there and i was expecting mahesh mutyala to do that one but before we get into that game um how are the preparations are going imti for the semi finals game uh well again like uh, we we have been preparing uh, uh, the regular uh, since the playoff started i think we uh, we are in the same uh, uh, positive mindset uh, and definitely the last two games uh, winning those two games has definitely given some boost to to all all all, all the team and uh, i think uh, all i want to say is like uh, we are we are doing uh, all that we can uh, from from a preparation perspective and uh, just taking it as a, a, another game uh, definitely there will be a lot of pressure going into this game but uh, we just want to take uh, the, the positives out of the last two games and go in, go in with a positive mindset so okay so when it comes to uh, playoffs um 
fielding fielding uh, becomes a biggest component okay i have seen uh, mahesh mutyala taking an excellent catch in the very first over or second over uh, in your game okay and uh, i'll go to dinesh here dinesh how yeah, much for... value how much value is added for a playoffs game if if the team has better fielding side no it has to be it has to be and uh, one of the bigger points is like uh, people are talking about what tami moni did but uh, tami moni was dropped and then he 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 sort of cut loose right so i'm talking about another game so it is as i mean that that is the best part and uh, for me favorite part of uh, cricket is uh, bowling and fielding and uh, fielding for sam is absolutely important every run saved uh, does add pressure uh, that's how that sort of a guarantee which you can um, which you can achieve uh, batting always is just a one chance is like uh, fielding is like uh, you can always save runs and uh, those important catches absolutely crucial uh, to any playoff uh, side okay so an, i'll go to seven seven which team stars versus raptors you know so this is the game uh, uh, probably is going to be the best game of the weekend okay according to dcl uh, uh, community uh, which team has between stars and raptors which team has better fielding side so this is going to be an interesting contest actually it's like for me just like fcc versus hawks last week this is an evenly poised team i'm not going to favor one or the other and and the youth factor is more into raptors so i'm going to pick raptors in fielding better than the stars just because they have young legs and 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 i think they can cover for those okay because that's a valid in, in in the fielding in the fielding what happens is if you cut those extra singles in the circle if you attack the ball running between the wickets is going to be doubtful for the batsman who are in the middle they mm-hmm. have to be absolutely sure for the ball to pass and then take the single they cannot risk hitting it in the hand and running something like that you know so it's going to add a value basically because of the youth and the feeling they do in, in the in, inside the field okay okay but, so but uh, yeah i'm going to interrupt sorry. real quick and say uh, you mentioned running between the wickets right you say raptors run better between the wickets than stars sure <laughs> no i didn't say that i said <laughs> no, the raptors is fielding yeah the raptors is fielding stars yeah. will have to re- re- rethink because they have young young legs in the circle <laughs> true true no but i was looking at some stat i i will get to that later probably running between the wickets might be a big uh, big factor for raptors batting so <laughs> right so we'll see. Yeah. actually actually you know what i have that that thing in my mind when it comes to run outs uh, <laughs> uh, which team fared better you know that's that's i mean i saved that question for later okay, okay. okay. <laughs> since you are the question the chemistry is better with stars i'll put this way Yeah, chemistry is bad. Okay, chemistry is better with. Okay, yeah, that that that's a good way to answer that one. Now let me go to Satish Gabai. Satish Gabai, fielding. You know, I have asked uh, as usual. What I do is before for the preparation of uh, before I prepare for uh, uh, this radio show, I'll I'll call random people or I'll I'll text random people asking them these questions like you know which team is uh, mm-hmm. has better fielding. Okay. um nearly 90% of them said you know uh raptors okay and, and some of them pointed uh stars weak points also where they are going to be weak especially with respect to fielding uh, uh stars have some old legs is the is what um uh i was told and then uh whereas um whereas there is only you know one or two two people who are weak in the fielding in in uh, raptors so overall okay overall uh, uh diesel community i mean when i said diesel community i did not ask entire 700 players you know few that i know uh most of the people said raptors have you know uh, edge on fielding side your thoughts on that yeah i think you know, from my end we have played again the raptors and uh, so they have a good means i think even the star i think they both have a good hand you know in, in terms of the catching so i'm not expecting on the dad aspect i think both are having equally good safe hands and playing cricket from long and i think they know 
who to be placed on on what position moreover when we played with the raptor raptor is still the raptor also has few uh, slow legs players right and including some of the injuries so they have they also want to you know protect those kind of positions so i think it's e- equally balanced this year somehow i did not see any of the stars game on the field so i'm not able to judge stars on that aspect like how good they are on the close fielding but raptor is still it's not that i would say that they are way too great on the fielding they are decent i would say okay so you know when when um, when i was told that raptors are better fielding team uh see you know, quickly i sent them the video of uh, you know ravitejas yeah. catch so <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay and and uh, you know i don't want to leave imti here imti do you have any comment on this one the fielding side every everybody is thinking that raptors have better luck yeah i'll, I'll start off this with a lighter note so uh, i heard a few comments saying that we have no legs I think we we probably have the youngest player in the league uh, Hari Parang who just turned 50 so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Hari Parang Sham uh, Hari Parang Sham uh, turned 50 almost 5 6 years back <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he is keeping no, he, 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 he turned 50 this year so he is 50 this year so anyways uh, so for you guys side, yes <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So keeping that aside, again, uh, just just going in a general general direction, right? The fielding is always a very very important aspect. We uh, we keep talking about the batting strength, the bowling strength, but I think fielding is always uh, somehow in the back end, uh, not not focused that much. Uh, but I think fielding is an absolutely crucial part of of the game, and uh, uh, come playoffs, I think it is it is even more important because uh, you always. plan for batting and bowling and look out at players but fielding is something that as a team unit you can definitely prepare and put put some additional pressure on the opponents right so uh, that being said every run saved every catch taken will definitely have an impact on the game so fielding definitely should be something that all the teams should look into going into the playoffs and yeah we 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 also are uh, looking at that then coming to the question comparing raptors and stars in the fielding front uh, <clears throat> again I, i i i don't see much of an advantage or disadvantage for either of the teams i think uh, just based on my observation and my 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 um, uh, look out for this game i think uh, fielding wise i don't see a big advantage or disadvantage for any of the teams okay so okay so the, the next question uh, that i want to ask is mental strength and who is very strong mentally uh between uh stars and raptors and historically you know raptors are you know ticked on that one and uh, they are they as soon as they come into playoffs uh, they fall like pack of cards because they are not strong so everybody said uh, everybody gave edge to stars um, I, i'll start with dinesh no absolutely i think uh, stars uh, the big thing is like uh, a strong fielding and bowling unit uh, somehow has the edge over a batting unit is how i see it uh, and they've proven uh, time and time out uh, this year even right so it's absolutely uh, advantage uh, the better bowling side so it's got to be stars stars have uh, advantage there okay yeah that's uh, what i mean because okay. because absolutely i think it's it's again like pretty much the same kind of setup uh, like last week uh, lads versus uh, stars is going to be pretty much like raptors versus stars right so like two big guns is like how, how do you take uh, two big guns uh, out uh, from the raptors batting without putting those names there I think you just need to be relentless and keep coming back at them and that's how you're going to get them out. I think that sort of uh, advantage is like it's just unbelievable the number of wickets the Stars bowlers have taken and that particular catch from uh, the quarters was a brilliant one uh, right so all that put together absolutely I think the better fielding side is the better mentally stable side and the stronger side is how I see it. That's Stars. Okay. okay i already started uh, <laughs> sai <laughs> sai already sent a message saying you are calling me <laughs> my team mental no i did not call me <laughs> i said mental strength <laughs> okay uh, uh, 
Okay. I'll go, I'll go to Sravan. Sravan, your thoughts on this one. Who, which team is strong? I don't know what kind of word I can use there. You know, Sai is threatening me. <laughs> so, for, for me, Jagan, personally, mm-hmm. Stars played with limited number of people when compared to Raptors. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. they know in and out of what they are and what their strengths mm-hmm. are. So whereas Raptors, mm-hmm. they have some flamboyant players. They have very good players in terms of, say, Amar, Sandeep. But the gelling factor is always the question of the Raptors. Now, mm-hmm. with respect to experience, Stars have the edge, Raptors have the edge too. There's no question on that because they've been playing cricket for a long, long time. And they're both in semifinals for a reason, right? Now, the game that's going to turn from now is the experience and who's going to handle the pressure well. So I believe Stars, because of the chemistry, have an edge when compared to Raptors. Because Raptors, like you pointed out a little while ago, they might fall like a pack of cards. Now, if they can soak up the pressure and put rums on the board, Raptors will have an edge. If not, Stars clearly is going to dominate it. Now, simple advice, in my opinion, is for Raptors, again, to take this game just like what they did with MCC Miles. Make sure they don't attack. Make sure they're going to have those runs on the board. That's how they're going to dominate. Otherwise, if they try to soak up the pressure and play it for dots, it will be like glads, maybe. You know? Yeah, very well said. Yeah. So, play playoff game like a playoff game. Okay. <laughs> the... And uh, Satish. Yes, so Jagandar, probably I would say the positive momentum, uh, that word would be a little, uh, you know, pro- proper maybe. If I will see on that aspect, I see stars are having little bit positive uh, momentum or a positive mindset at this point. Couple of points to support this. First thing, they are coming up, beating a, a team like Glads, okay? That is another uh, motivation. Second yeah, I was about might... to ask that one, you know, between these two teams, one is coming uh, to the semifinals beating uh, a lower ranked team, MCC Miles, and the other team uh, uh, came to semifinals uh, beating number one team in the league. So, yeah, so obviously... Covering the same point, hmm. even though if you see the Glads and Stars match, I would say Stars were perfect on the, all the departments, okay? Uh, because I see on the match on the live side, so I see yep. batting and bowling, they might be happy about what they have performed. Obviously, every team thinks that somewhere, some or other way they can improve, which we can again discuss further. But I think they might be very happy about their performance all around, like batting, bowling, and fielding as well. On the same aspect, if you see the Raptor, Raptor uh, scoring 80 runs, they might they should not be happy about that, right? So they have they might be thinking about you know they have to work on something to make their run positive, right? Even in the last game against us, they did not get, they did not have that momentum that they they were about to get in almost every game in the league stage, right? But they they might be thinking about their batting at this. They might be thinking concern over their batting. That that aspect I do not see with the stars. Second aspect that I see again comparing both, I see stars is coming with a stable team at least from the last two games, pre-quarter and quarter. I see only one change in these two games. Uh, that's what, again, MTY can correct me. But I, I only see one change that they made from pre-quarter to quarter. On the same side, Raptor had four uh, around four changes they made it from pre-quarter to quarter. It may be because some availability issue or something, or it generally they are rotating and trying to work, work out. That we don't know here, right? But considering four changes, a win, winning team changing four changes for the quarterfinal games, Somewhere, you know, if, uh, again, if they are planning to do more changes, that means they might not have much of certainty within their uh, squad. At that, at that time, probably they might have declared team today or so. But before that, there may be certain people might not be sure about whether they are playing or not. So that uncertainty will be there within the players. That is what I felt. These are a couple of points. And I see stars look like a little bit more positive at this point for me. So, so in other words... Uh, you're trying to say stars have better uh, chemistry uh, starting from uh, playoffs. You know, I'm not talking before the playoffs, starting from playoffs. Yes. They, they whereas, Raptors, think... whereas Raptors changed their players a lot, a lot in the, nearly four, four is what you're saying. So yes. there could be an issue with the, with the chemistry. Am I correct? Not chemistry, stability, right? Uh, four, four 
thing the poor uh, player has been changed mean they they have to again adopt a role right at the mm-hmm. same time stars at least uh, out of 12 11 people know their role right I mean they are having a clear mindset i'm not expecting a lot of changes probably even though they are making a changes they might have communicated well in advance so from i'm just thinking from the captain aspect right so generally if you are having a stable team everybody knows their role captain job is easier right and, and it is actually another game right if you are trying to do something different on the playoff time then you have to educate the team also right it's not just one person doing something different it's about the whole team may be impacted with that so that was one point yeah you have a valid valid point there and see when it comes to batting you know i was comparing uh, uh, raptors mcc miles and stars glades glades game um batting first both uh, batting batting first uh, raptors could score 82 but the the problem with raptors is they they they, they managed to play only 20.5 overs which is very 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 less when compared to uh, uh, especially uh, in the playoffs playoffs any team that is not playing 25 overs is not a good team in my opinion okay batting side but i i give an um, you know uh, a benefit of doubt because um the ncp northville community park if it rains uh, the bounce it will have very less bounce because that's newly laid pitch okay that's where finals is going to happen so and it is a big ground uh, that could be a factor there where they could not score uh, more runs but any time any time you know team losing all wickets within with uh, with five five overs left you know i i consider you know see um, uh, uh, the tradition uh, see basically tradition uh, if you look at the history of uh, raptors this uh, this season they are predominantly batting team than bowling than bowling team but they ended up scoring only 82 that's that's a fearing factor whereas um stars versus gladiators stars ended up scoring 96 um uh, yet again they could not finish the 24 hours of quota which is you know um very uh those they scored 96 96 is nothing for uh, gladiators is what i thought had they uh, had um um arjun ajwani they would have chased it is what i felt you know the biggest missing missing point missing players in gladiators are um jeet more than arjun i can i consider jeet they missed jeet there uh without jeet their wicket taking bowler not finishing 25 overs is something you know uh, uh it, it won't give any confidence to any team of course a win is uh, always better than you know what happened in the match uh uh imti do you want to say anything about this sorry uh, what was the specific question for you missed uh, 82 raptors score 82 they could not play 25 overs stars they could not play 25 overs is that a concern for any any team in the playoffs uh, not, not only playoffs there you know, i think any any team that is not able to play 25 overs it is it is a cardinal sin because with with that uh, with the vast experience that uh, all the teams have come and then uh, the teams that have made it to the playoffs i think uh, they are uh, supposed or expected to play all the 25 overs and if you're not doing that then there is something uh, missing in that batting lineup for sure again uh, you can come across a, a very red hot team that is bowling great guns and then you might get all out but again that that should not happen consistently so if it is happening consistently then then definitely it's a worrying factor uh, coming to the quarter finals games like so for raptors in this case i think uh, for me uh, 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 i i thought i thought uh, um, they did not get the partnership that they are used to the raptors and uh, somehow the wickets falling at regular intervals kind of choked them up and with with the batting style that they have i think uh, that that led to that downfall well before the 25 overs on the other hand uh, in our game when we were playing i think the first half was like according to the script it was going really good and then suddenly in the second half of the batting i think uh, Uh, the introduction of salman uh, kind of changed things for gladiators they were totally pumped up the ball was pitching all in the right areas and then uh, runs 
uh, runs got uh, uh, difficult to score, and then that that obviously led to the pressure, and then we ended up not playing the entire 25 overs because we fell from 75 for uh, three to 96 all out. So it was totally change in momentum uh, again. Like it was just that they they kind of figured out the areas to bowl, and then that put additional pressure on us. Again, I'm not justifying, but again, it it, it so happened in the game that uh, that that pressure was created in the second half. Unfortunately, the first half didn't go in their uh, their uh, their way. But if if they had that figured out in the first half, it definitely run scoring was difficult in DSP as well. So uh, uh, the other it? factor is MCP. You mentioned again, like uh, rain affecting the game, and then that also affects the scoring and the way the ball bounces and batting. So I think in that way, DSP also was similar because the ball was not uh, coming onto the bat that easy in the first half at least. Yeah, I will I will talk about the fields. in the later part you know uh, i'll go to uh, dinesh dinesh batting yeah so from so we are just talking about uh, raptors and uh, stars right yes oh we, we, yeah okay so raptors and stars so i was looking at this stat uh, so we have three batters in uh, from stars uh, ravi teja zeeshan and shanmugam they have scored more than 100 runs uh, so but the number of games they have played is there uh, the uh, the kind of consistency they have is the big uh, big thing there but if you look at uh, uh raptors for that matter we have at least uh, if you say pradeep bota has scored 97 so even if you say he's sort of close to 100 i think we have six batters uh, who uh, score Uh, all of them have scored more than uh, close to 100 or more than 100 so that's a little bit of an advantage uh, for them so so we'll have to see but i think there's big dependency on what uh, amar uh, uh, gives then what kiran does too so the major concern for me between amar and kiran amongst a lot of different things is like amar and kiran i think amar gets bowled a lot i was looking at some uh, amarendra stats he does get bowled a lot that's what's on cricket clubs uh, uh, is what it is then kiran boynapalli i think the, the biggest issue i was so surprised to see that uh, he does have a decent enough of uh, run outs in there as well for the kind of dismissals he has so i was a little surprised um so between them i don't know uh, that might or might not be a big concern so running between the wickets might be it so cut singles and uh, have them go for shots every big shot is going to be a risk taking factor but like what shravan was pointing out is like attack is the be- best form of defense right if you're batting heavy there's just no point trying to hold and change your game you just have to go for it uh take you know uh, fire fire with fire you know there's, there's too much of pace is all, always a problem you live with pace and you die with pace too so one slot ball can disappear if uh, if it is not in the right spot so but the batting edge goes to raptors for sure but as we saw someone like uh, shyam uh, shyam uh, if if he gets to play uh, in the semi side so him in the middle order he's a good bat so that's the kind of thing is like um, they might be able to put up a fighting score like close to 90 uh, would be a decent score like what we saw with lads if uh, if these guys end up batting first but it might be a major advantage to uh, bat second you know what the target is a lot of people say oh we'll score on the board but uh, you, you just know what kind of uh, innings uh, stars need to play so it might be a blessing in this case if uh, raptors uh, end up batting first uh, i wouldn't be worried at all i think it might be advantage for stars i will see advantage stars okay um uh, shravan so for me actually but in these two teams i'm going to favor batting to raptors again a couple of things uh, like dinesh very well said right there were at least six people that were they close uh, they, they scored close to 100 runs that's not the point i'm trying to depend on though the point i'm trying to depend on is in the last two games if you look at pre quarter final and quarter they did not go guns blazing they were actually put in defense where the somebody else stood up for example in the pre quarter final kiran played an excellent innings against the uh, uh, sudeshgabas team and and he gave them a score that they can defend they have the bowling to defend that's a different question altogether the second time mcc miles were attacked by amar in the beginning but he was also gone for 16 runs they were actually pretty much in the defense but 
somehow there are some other people who are stepping up they did not step up completely but but they gave them enough runs on the board you know which is a good sign if you ask me it was gagan who is a very good player right he showed up when there was three they scored like 10 11 runs and and obviously extra, extras helped them so if, you, if stars can bowl tight lines and not give them extras and put the same kind of pressure that mcc multi was able to put them, put on them they will have not runs but the point i'm trying to make is it's not the top five that are scoring i think there are other people that are going to step up in these games and they have that batting depth to contain uh, and put runs on the board for them to contain the pressure and put runs on the board for the stars i think uh, it's a bit of a worry for me I, personally again they are they're a very experienced team and they know what they're doing that's how they're in semis great team obviously but zishan i saw him playing a couple of times he's he goes attacking and he might be hit or miss and another other guy is ramiteja who is pretty consistent but apart from these two we don't see any other people trying to step up and give those runs on the board so that's where the edge is with raptors in my opinion where they have multiple people who can step in to change the game but again stars have the bowling maybe they have the answers for themselves that they can take off each one of them but looking at the paper things which are written on paper for me raptors is stronger in batting on the batting front okay let's talk about bowling later uh, before before we talk about bowling uh, satish gaba your thoughts on the batting yes i think dinesh and sarah seven has already covered most of my points so <laughs> uh, only one thing that i have want to add on that even i i think that raptor you know look better batting at this point for two reason first thing i feel raptor has two destructive batsmen like gagan and amar if they pretend to stay there right for some time they can change the game okay that's what my understanding is and on if you see on the on the same side from the start only i see ravi teja who can be you know destructive batsman who can you know change the game within 20 30 balls and the second thing uh, raptor also has uh, pradeep and uh, kiran and vignesh who can you know, stay and then keep the board uh, run board going on even though if they do not if they get a good start and lose some wicket they have they can put a decent total so i it look like raptors look better at this point but i have uh, one question for int because that that concerns me probably as analyst when i see the batting order i am actually surprised to see shan deepak and imti himself going little down the order specifically when they are batting first and they have got a good start there nothing to keep their wicket down that's what my understanding is if i'm not sure what is the thought behind you know keeping these three important wickets down the order because i have played against all of these people and i believe they are top notch batsmen deepak can hit and can stay imti bhai can always hit always stay and play, rotate the strike and shan was super on those playing those two shots that's what my understanding on these three batsmen i'm not sure imti bhai wants to address or not but i see that these three batsmen down the order how effectively how effective they can be if they will come little bit up in the order i think that might help stars a little bit okay let's quickly jump into bowling okay uh, if you look at the last week uh, game uh, raptors though we all say uh, stars have stars have better bowling than uh, united raptors uh, they were able to bundle mcc miles for 13 uh whereas you know stars against uh one of the best batting attacks in the, in in league gladiators um they they bundled them for 63 um imti do you want to say anything on that one sure again uh, i just uh, uh, presenting my thoughts here as a neutral uh, uh, spectator here so raptors again uh, at least like a couple of weeks ago when the playoffs were building we we were talking that uh, they kind of get into these uh, uh, chaos or uh, uh, pressure situations to bring themselves into the situations and, and don't get out of it but i just I, i i want to give credit to them because this season i think both the both the playoff games that they have played i think they have won convincingly with low scores so it's not that Uh, they are heavily dependent on the batting and the bowling is not up to mark but again looking at both these games i think they did a good job uh, both with bat and ball and i think they are, they 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 are playing good so uh, that being said uh, uh, coming specifically to the bowling right so uh, both these games i think uh, they have uh, uh, 
uh, uh, bundled out the opponents uh, uh, pretty pretty uh, convincingly. Uh, both the games uh, are below par scores uh, for their batting might, and but their bowlers responded well and they were able to uh, execute that pressure and uh, close the game. So I think I think uh, we we don't talk much about that bowling, but if you remember two weeks ago when we were talking about the pre-quarter final games, I rated Raptors bowling uh, in the top three. So uh, I do consider them as a very good bowling unit. So okay, uh, Dinesh. Yeah, I think the big thing is like uh, between Stars and uh, Raptors. Raptors have a better all-round bowling, uh, is what I see. I believe Saeed is qualified, right? Uh, he's played three games. If he's played three games, does he qualify to play in the semis? Yeah, yeah, he's qualified to play yeah. in the knockouts. There's no yeah. doubt about that one. But yeah. so, you know, so I, I don't know whether you checked his stats or not. Uh, okay. no. Probably, what is what is the possible stats? Uh, yeah. For a playoff, playoff, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, right. No, the 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 thing is like just from a roster point of view, it's like um, if you want the absolute pace, then they have um, Said Mohd Patel and even uh, Ajit for that matter is there, right? So, so I think that's there. And again, last week I was predicting Ashok Bhavnam to to be the game changer. He was uh, the leading wicket taker in that. Uh, Quarter, right? So he did pick up three wickets. So him along with Sandeep, they have that uh, for a slow, from a spinish, uh, slowish front, from a medium pace front, they, they absolutely have uh, Amar to come and step up and uh, do uh, whatever. So I think they have that. And from a lefty perspective as well, they have uh, Simon Oj. Um, so they've got an all round bowling attack, right? But the big thing is like what stars have shown uh, game in, game out, and especially. The last game is like the kind of impact. It is just relentless pressure. Uh, you know, if it's bound to happen that there's going to be one one wicket which falls within the power play, right? The first three overs. Then after that, it's like there's just relentless uh, back to back to back. That's that kind of quality from stars. That's where the glass fell. It's like I think again, people were talking about oh they have only this many bowlers or that many bowlers from stars, right? I'm like. It doesn't even have to be a 25 over game. Like uh, Satish, um, uh, Satish Pai was pointing out uh, a couple of shows ago, you know, finish them, uh, you know, sort of use your best bowlers till about the 15th over, then we'll see what happens kind of thing. It's like that, that's where I come from. Just treat it as a 20 over game. Four bowlers, uh, five overs each, uh, probably you can't bowl 20 with them. You have to rotate later. But again, like 16, 17 overs is like relentless pressure. That should be able to take the. Uh, top order of uh, Raptors uh, take care of uh, Raptors. So I'm going to give it to Stars uh, from an impact uh, bowling uh, unit. It's going to be Stars, but all round unit. Uh, uh, Raptors do have a better all round bowling, is what I feel, but I'm giving it to Stars. Uh, Shravan, who are your bowlers for Stars versus um, United Rap- Raptors? When you so compare I'll with the uh... I'll start with stars, right? Yeah. So it's a interesting question. If you ask me who are my bowlers, I want to pick five bowlers for this game. Let's put this way. Between two teams, right? Deepak will yes. be right there on top. Yeah. So Sandeep Deepak will be there right there on top. Uh, Sandeep for United Raptors. Right. And and yeah. and, uh, and the other people who can play, right, around them are already there in the teams, respectively, actually. So I'm not sure why Sandeep didn't bowl a lot in the previous game until the last, he was pretty much last change. But he has that pace, he has that spin as well to take wickets. Ashok is definitely deceiving, he'll take wickets, but if you have to rate two quality bowlers, these are the two quality bowlers on top. Yeah, very well said. Okay, I, which bo- which bowling attack yeah. is better? The bowling point of view, they're pretty much evenly poised, in my opinion. I'll keep it very simple. Hmm. You have somebody like uh, Imti, who has those cutters, and who he can deceive and take wickets. At the same time, you have somebody like Ashok and Amar, who can come in and change the game. They pretty much have four very good balls in both sides, if you ask me. They're pretty much poised. They both no. have the pace. They both have the strength to take wickets. So they're pretty much even in my opinion. Okay, very well said. Satish. Can I, 
Can I interrupt real quick there? Sorry. <laughs> sure, okay. sure. So, yeah, my, my big thing which I wanted to point out was like uh, the number of bowlers. Four bowlers have taken more than 20 wickets right, in stars and not a single bowler from the entire Raptors team has taken uh, 20 wickets. So that's one. From the batting front, I think Raptors have about 75 sixes and stars have only 30. So just some stats there. Yeah, just to add that, right? So you don't need one bowler or two bowlers to do the job. They have the variety, variety to take it. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the MCC Miles game, Amar changed it, actually. Yeah. Not just a joke. So Amar was like fourth change, right? So, and, and and I'll give you one example. We were playing very well against Raptors. We gave a lot of runs as a different story. But MR Rangers was playing very well. We were like 51 or 52 for two. You know who took the wickets? A guy who didn't bowl till then. <laughs> so they have the variety to just surprise you in that game, you know? Yeah, right, right. Okay. Sorry, Satish, Satish. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Satish. Yes, so I I do understand uh, Sean Bai's all talk, but I would still go with the experience. I see from the star side, I see Anvesh, Deepak, and Imti and Ravi, they all are very experienced and seasoned bowlers, right? They always bowl and they are very perfect on their bowling. In respect of the kind of pitch they are getting, even the batting pitch, they can have, they can be very impactful. At the same side, if you see uh, from the uh, Raptor side, I, I see uh, Sai Manoj, who is, you know, very good and Sandeep is very good. Again, because I, I was saying about the team rotation, but I'm not sure, because I personally like Mohit more compared to Ashok, but they, they are actually picking other one of those is what I see from the pre-quarter and quarter final. But if they are they still see as, as uncertainty whether they'll go with Mohit or they will go with Ashok and what is happening at that Mohit is not fit because Ashok did not play pre-quarter final and Mohit did not play a quarter final. So, ah, Ashok was so not, uh, Ashok was in India, I think. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, that week, yeah. So probably then in that case, Ashok might play. Uh, then probably Simon Oj and uh, Sandeep is two experienced bowlers who can bowl in any kind of pitch, even though batting pitch, they will be impactful. So And the rest, probably the pitch may need to support a little bit for their bowling and the kind of patience batsmen have. If, uh, if a batsman has a the patience, they can play Amar or Ashok probably. But they, this, this side, Anvesh and uh, Deepak, and uh, Ravi, they can actually trouble a uh, batsman in uh, any kind of pitch. So I see Star has the edge on uh, bowling side. Only concern, as we discussed last week also, fifth bowler is probably something that they have to look out, look after. But I think four bowler, if they they hit on the right spot, the fifth bowler can be easily manageable. Uh, Satya is their fifth bowler. You know, I I uh, I didn't count him when I uh, checked last week, but. You know they fi they filled that gap very well with Satya, and uh, see see uh, just like uh, I asked for a bowling unit, better bowling unit. Um, stars have better bowling unit. There is no doubt about that one. And uh, United Raptors have variety. Okay, it's a, see if you look at uh, um, the um, uh, average runs given out. Raptors every bowler almost four average. Stars are you know, much better when compared to that one. But see, it is going to be a battle between uh, Sandy and Deepak. Okay. Whoever plays well, they are going to win is what, um, you know, a lot of people said. Uh, with that, I'll quickly go to the next game. Next game, um, you know, when I asked about this game, everybody said, only everybody had only one answer. It's a cakewalk for KRCC. Okay. So do you guys agree with that one? That is the first, my first question. And then my second question is going to be, if FCC has to win, uh, see, uh, do they have any chance to win? If they have to win, what is that they have to win? It's a, uh, you know, we'll go there later. Okay. Uh, Imti, your thoughts. Um, well, the first question, I think, uh, uh, to answer the question, is it going to be cakewalk for KRCC? Well, uh, the stats suggest so, and the red hot form uh, in both the playoff games, KRCC just swept the games convincingly. And if, if you if 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 you have uh, looked at the scorecards again, it's it's just to a totally one-sided, dominated game by KRCC in, bo in both games, right? And uh, 
similarly on the other hand fcc i think uh, uh, had had a good outing in the pre quarter finals and then again uh, against the uh, hawks in the quarter finals they kind of uh, struggled a little bit but i think they ended up winning the game uh, so reaching semi finals is, is a big achievement uh, so fcc being there again it's not not uh, just a fluke factor right so uh let's give some credit to fcc uh, i don't think it will be that one sided game like uh, the past two games for krcc uh, uh again uh, definitely on the roster wise if you do a player to player matchup definitely krcc is a clear winner but then i think i think this will be a a, a, a at least an evenly contested game and it won't be a one sided game is what i am thinking so yeah, okay see see i, I... So, uh, last week i empired the game between um, hawks and fcc um, frankly if i have to say if i have to make a statement this is what i'll say you know both teams were fighting for a uh, for a loss there you know <laughs> unfortunately one team ended up winning that's how they played <laughs> and uh, hawks chasing seven, uh, 74 runs fcc giving you know the freebies a lot even then uh, they lost so uh, so what yeah, i did was i quickly went back to indus game you know agnes indus nobody predicted fcc to uh, fcc to win so i went back and i checked there uh, they scored you know heavily there can that have an against these guys and i was looking at the bowling again you know uh, uh, fcc uh, sorry um, indus thunders bowling versus uh, um Yeah, KRCC. Uh, KRCC bowling and uh, KRCC is uh, it's more um, uh, Tami Moni, Ifti, and it, it their bowling attack lo- looks ridiculous. And if uh, any any team, it's going to be very difficult unless you you play straight. Um, so so with that, I'll, I'll finish your thoughts. You know, these are all Sorry, these were my can, thoughts. Can, can I add yes, one sir. more point here? Uh, yes, sure, 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 sure. Dinesh, so. so uh, again like uh, like i was saying so uh, let's give some credit to fcc here because again if you have observed throughout the season right fcc has won games out of uh, losing situations i think they have come back at least in three or four games where they were totally down and under and i think even the hawks game was similar where they were like totally on the on the wrong side of of uh, this game but then they came out victorious i think they are somehow finding those ways but again the quality of the opponent this week is totally different but then again it's a new day uh again I, i just would just suggest that fcc go out with a positive intent they have nothing to lose obviously all the pressure will be on the opponent because these are the underdogs so maybe they just uh, uh the big players or the main players of the team step up on that day and then um, they they just hope for uh, things to go their way that uh, but from an effort perspective i don't think there will be any any lack of effort from fcc and the krcc on the other hand is definitely a big big team to beat so uh, uh I I would just back FCC to go out positively and play play the best game that they have played in this entire season so probably well, see FCC wins probably I I I'll see I'll take all of them uh, buy them a beer every player will get a beer from me <laughs> FCC okay. wins so there's the added incentive <laughs> FCC if you're listening then I mean see as you said there's no no disrespect here no team comes to semi finals by just just by pure luck but they have to have a talent and they have that talent for fcc to win in my opinion they have to play as a team everybody has to contribute there uh, let's see uh, dinesh your thoughts yeah just putting the numbers again right i'm playing the money ball game here is like from fcc eight of them have scored a, a total of 100 plus runs you know how many from krcc only five so that that's the kind of thing is like why fcc are here is like uh, one or the other has some of come up right no, so see, we were talking uh, yeah. i i i have a counter question for that one yeah. does fcc have the kind of bowling that can take those first six wickets that okay. is a question yeah. no that that that's absolutely the fun part about all of this right so why we keep saying is like okay what happened to gocc right they, they, didn't they get under the gocc skin then the, the irritating bowling as as you said within codes right if they can absolutely irritate uh, the big hitters is like you know it's got to be perfect for them if it is not this like they couple waiver deliveries here and there and they get a good one is like it just takes like 
a couple that's what i mean is like a tamimoni and hemant bardwaj if they can get them off whatever top edge or wide delivery they were trying to hike a full toss and if it becomes a top edge and the keeper can get it or whatever who knows what but that's what i'm saying is like the numbers say eight of them can if they can do anything is like they can do what they did in the pre quarters last game obviously fcc did not bat well the previous game they did bat decently well right so if this bowling attack i think from uh, arcc might provide that sort of an opportunity for fcc to put some runs on the board i think if fcc wins the toss go ahead and bat first that that's the only way i think i i would go about it and see put runs on the board and see what happens a quick uh, early wicket here and there then we can see what what happens so this is just from the batting front right from from the bowling front there's a little bit of a <clears throat> concern for for bo- both sides i think uh, between uh, venkata and the tejo i think it's it's a little bit of a tough fight but on the other side i think jasneet bowled really well i was watching uh, the wickets he picked uh, i was like binge watching all the wickets uh, last week and jasneet did bowl well for the other bowlers they were so uh we'll have to see what uh, jasneet can bring uh, but definitely advantage krcc but by no means uh, fcc cannot uh, uh, as, as we said to get under the nerves of uh, krcc batters so we'll see but krcc for me all the best okay seven it's actually uh, i know the odds are favoring krcc and the voice is pretty much around krcc i'll tell two examples okay uh one obviously this year that happened with hawks right glcc red heart form number one just taken out unfortunately by a team which is lower ranked hawks a few years ago there was knockers right red heart form they won all the games in the league stage taken out by am rangers last year legends won all the games kings 11 taken out it's not about who is number one number two number three at this point it's a knockout now who is going to handle the pressure who is going to give the pressure back that's all it comes down to yeah absolutely krcc has a game but fcc is no less they should believe in themselves win the toss back first put runs on the board whatever it is 100 so be it 120 so be it 150 so be it but aim for 100 aim for 120 if they can they have the bowling they need to trust and not bowl extras they have the variety they need to trust and not bowl extras that's all they need to do the pressure will mount up krcc might bend you know worst case if krcc wins the toss and back first so be it put them under the pressure take wickets they have the variety again they have the spinner they have the fast bowler they have the medium pacers they can irritate them get the wickets early pressure it back on them one thing i would like to tell which uh, i think i picked legends last week based on the fact that okay there was only him and there was only Tamim Mohan in batting but what we forgot is they also have the experience right in terms of Jasneet Jasneet mm-hmm. played so many semi finals in DCL when it was part of warrior right he was a game changer if you ask me because legends actually had a decent start but the middle order was collapsed and they kind of fumbled to 70 odd runs they had a decent start with the bat actually but they had like 120 125 and taking that coming money catch maybe things would have been different right so true they have the experience they have the depth yeah this has the edge no doubt about it but i think fcc is no less they are in the semis they have to believe in themselves and remember these examples where it's a knockout game where number 1 was taken down by number 16 or lower ranked team taking over the higher ranked team if all 11 play well all 12 contribute because of the super sub I think they have the edge actually. They just need to believe in themselves and make the chain together stronger. Like yeah, I told can, you last week. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, they can play freely, you know. Correct. Correct. They the can pressure is on KRCC, not on FCC. Not on FCC. Exactly. Not on <laughs> FCC. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your thoughts, Satish Gawa? Yeah, I I'm waiting for this one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So one point, one information that I would see. I want to add here that for FCC, KK has scored the highest run, and he is not available for the final. So that is one information. He is oh out boy. of country. Who? Who? 
See, I mean, in my opinion, uh, if Teju comes right after those uh, power play, um, he'll have bigger effect. Is what I'm thinking. Okay, he and bowled last really. Last FCC should do dropping catch. <laughs> 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 they have if, if at all opportunities being generated, they have to capture that. If they're dropping, it will be a blunder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have to take every catch if they have to win. okay and uh, see uh, before we close the show um um uh, i i want to say one thing you know i watched dsp1 and dsp2 last uh, two weeks very closely and um, uh, except one time remaining all times batting first team one okay so uh, the pitch it behaves very badly in uh, dsp1 you know uh, uh either ball rises very quickly from the good length and or sometimes it rolls that's what i saw uh in hawks versus uh fcc game and uh, on the other side dsp uh dsp2 uh nigel cc lost there 
and then um, gladiators lost there and uh, uh, i saw one more game they lost and uh, uh, sunday sunday last sunday okay uh, first time i saw dynamites winning chasing there okay of course i have to give a lot of credit to the opposite bowlers also the way they bowled uh, but trust me the dsp that i used to um, i i a uh, couple of years back dsp is different from uh, today's dsp bowling ch uh, chasing team unless their heads are uh, you know clearly down and play uh, a good cricket any chasing team it, it's going to be very difficult at least that's what i observed imti uh, you you played there so imti and uh, satish both played there so um, do you guys agree with me or not yes i do for the dsp one uh, i even for our even i think the day before the game has happened pitch wasn't good and the second inning we had couple of wickets you know just because of the pitch ball did not roll properly and then we have to lose so uh, you are absolutely right some of dsp you are supposed to be batting pitch but for the second inning it is not behaving the same yeah it is that's what i agree to that too like the dsp uh, overall condition of the ground from from a game perspective has uh, deteriorated uh, deteriorated uh, in the past two years for sure again i think it is due to the fact that there's a lot of cricket being played now on dsp pitches right so that mm -hmm. could be a factor and then also uh, on the tag end of the season with the weather changes and stuff uh, it, it kind of uh, uh, magnifies the impact i guess so uh, that being said again uh, these are crucial games uh, but we are playing in tough conditions so let's hope for the best yeah okay with that let's conclude our show here and uh, good luck to all the teams but at this time uh, you know from the stats that i got from the people uh, most of the people voted for stars and krcc to come out from uh, next week let's see what is going to happen okay and uh, dcl is about a lot of surprises so uh, there is a element of sympathy also so uh, that all that all that sympathy is towards fcc <laughs> okay and uh, um, i'll go to see the last two weeks i completely forgot we, because uh, asking at the last words from our analyst so uh, I, i want to take this week so i'll start with imti yeah again uh, thanks jagan and thanks to my fellow analysts for a wonderful show i think we got a lot of insights different perspectives from each of each of you guys and again a big big thanks to all our listeners who are our main pillar of strength and support uh, it's uh, always because of you guys that we come up with all these uh, discussions so thanks again uh, for all the support every week and uh, for the teams that are playing this week and including our team good luck to all the teams uh, and uh, we know for sure that there will be new champion but again uh, uh, Like good luck to uh, to the uh, to the teams and hopefully uh, we get to talk a lot lot more in in the next uh, episode and uh, whatever uh, the results are uh, you have reached so far so just be proud of that and then uh, take take uh, take take it in a good spirit so uh, congratulations to the four teams and good luck again uh, once again so thanks yeah it's not easy out of 36 now you are in top 4 tinesh Yeah, so my message is like uh, two batting greats versus uh, bowling, right? Is how I'm seeing it. So my mantra is back of length. Do not bowl anything in the slot. Back of length, have deep square leg, and this is for the power play and uh, cow corner and uh, challenge them uh, to play horizontal bat shots. That's the high risk shot. Don't bowl any slot deliveries. That's the only message. Good luck to all the teams and congrats to. the four teams who made it so far thanks uh, uh satish bhai uh, mt bhai and uh, shravan bhai uh, and uh, thanks for the opportunity jagan bro shravan my last words are actually pretty simple go play have fun soak up the pressure over hand the pressure well they'll win the games so i want very all well the teams to win but i don't want to choose a winner so let them battle it out in the middle again thank you jagan mt Dinesh and Satish Gawa bhai thank you for your time i thoroughly enjoyed the show 
Satish. Yeah, thank you, Jordan, bye for your invite, and it was nice chatting with you all you know, from the DCL game aspect. This was very quite exciting season for everyone, I would say, and um, I wish all the best for the four, all the four teams, and let's see the best team win. I'm looking forward to tune both the match live if possible. I I believe uh, both the teams will do some live live streaming, so I look forward to those live streaming. Okay, with that we'll conclude tonight's show, and we will meet next week uh, and a week after. Same same group. I'm expecting same group to come and discuss about uh, the games next week and a week after. Um, uh, uh, thank you, Imti. Thank you, Dinesh. Thank you, Siravan. Thank you, Satish Gabaji, and thanks all our listeners. Good night.